I have received many questions about stamina and how to develop it. The boxing stamina, of course. Just one second. Boxing means anaerobic exercise. Anaerobic means without oxygen. So how to get used to exercise without, without oxygen? with less oxygen. The main thing is to change your rhythm. If you just jog or run for a long time, it's nothing for boxing. Change your tempo, change your rhythm. Acceleration is the key. You don't need long acceleration when running. Just short bursts, short explosions for 5-10 meters. Same thing when you work with light weights, for instance. Say accelerate for 5 seconds and then slow down for 10 seconds. Work for 3 minute rounds and rest for 1 minute. Um, just monotonous exercise and intermittent accelerations. And of course the jumping rope. Jumping rope is an excellent tool. Jumping rope acceleration is a classical aerobic exercise. Why do we need this in aerobic conditions? It's like you go uphill into the mountains, you receive less oxygen, so the body produces more hemoglobin, more red blood cells. When you have more hemoglobin, you can utilize even small amount of oxygen more effectively. And as a result, your stamina improves. So instead of a long monotonous exercise, change your rhythm, do accelerations. But be careful, watch your pulse rate. Ideally, you should be supervised by your, um, by your trainer, your coach. Don't be over jealous, you can damage your health. You should not keep your pulse rate above, above 180 for a long time. I would say 160 or 140 is a safer margin for many people. Uh, do not forget that you need a recovery period. And of course, do not start with huge frequent accelerations from the very beginning. Go step by step. Let your body adjust. Your acceleration period should be followed by recovery time. Later, of course, you can gradually shorten your recovery periods. For instance, usually the boxer pulse rate goes up to 140 after the first round, 160, something like this, after the second round, and 180 after the third round. And this is very high. This is a maximal effort, I would say. During one minute rest, the pulse rate should drop down approximately 120 and ideally for 90 or 100 beats per minute. Uh, count for 10 seconds and multiply by 6 for convenience uh, when you check your pulse rate. So the recovery rate is very important. It's actually more important than the, um, the pulse rate itself. How fast you can recover. It's important. The recovery rate is a good indicator of your stamina. So let me repeat that the best way to boost your stamina is to change your rhythm. Uh, if you do monotonous exercise, you can make intermittent periods of more active work. Say you walk with weights, but put them down and deliver a series of shadow punches for 10 seconds. Then resume your weight exercise. Also, the jumping rope, as I said, or uh, running with accelerations. Um, change your rhythm. A long monotonous tire running is not so good for boxing stamina. And if you are training hard, you need a supervision by your coach. And maybe even by a sport physician, if you are really serious about it. So be careful. See you. Best wishes. Bye.